stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. It is about crypto and gold this time around on Top Stock Picks, and our strategists are going to tell us what those connections are. Dan LeBeau with me here at the desk, and Dave Bartosiak joining us via Skype. Dan, we're going to start with you. You are going to profile Facebook. What's the crypto connection here? So Facebook just announced a uh, crypto that they'll be launching in 2020 called Libra. Okay. And this will be launched out of a subsidiary called Calibra, which will be housing this cryptocurrency. Um, and Libra is a little bit different than other cryptocurrencies on the market today. It's uh, backed by, it's going to be backed by assets such as government currencies, government bonds, and oh. other stable investments. And this is going to give it a lot more stability than, you know, the Bitcoins, Ether, and all coins we see today that are fluctuating right. 20, 30 percent on a daily basis, yep. which isn't actually something that you could utilize if it is fluctuating at that at that rate. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be backed as well by uh, Visa, MasterCard, and PayPal, top financial services firms in the U.S., which is going to give it a lot more legitimacy. Um, Uber and Lyft are also putting their foot in the in this in pool. the water here. Yeah, I think that's going to give exposure um, or give this this crypto a little bit broader exposure if people are able to use it on these ride sharing apps. Sure. Um, and Facebook is the largest social media website in the world with north of two billion users on a monthly basis, yeah. meaning that more than 55% of the internet accessing world is checking their Facebook account at least once a month. Mm -hmm. So that exposure in and of itself is gonna give this crypto, I feel like, the exposure itself it needs sure. to- um, Succeed? Yeah, to, to gain traction around the world. Um, I, their goal is to give financial, digital financial access to developing countries that don't usually have this access. And being backed by Visa and MasterCard, I think they're going to allow credit lines to be given to small businesses that don't usually have this kind of access. That's interesting by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's it's an interesting pivot. And you know, Facebook being driven primarily by advertising today is, is completely going to be pivoting in the future to potentially being primarily driven by by this financial um, currency. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how how they work out. So what kind of competition do you think? you have any thoughts on how this is going to compete with others in that space already? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting. It's a completely different thing than Bitcoin, Ether, and all, all the alts. It's, it's considered a stable coin because it's backed by other assets, and Bitcoin and Ether are backed by nothing but investor sentiment. Right. Um, so that gives it a little more legitimacy and a little bit more ability to be utilized, I think. Okay. All right, uh, Dave, you're out there, and uh, even though we can't see you, take my word for it, Dave is out there. Anglo Gold Ashanti is your company. Yeah, uh, so this is a play on gold, essentially. I'm gonna get into the specifics on Ashanti in just a second, but first, here's a relationship that I wanna uh, show people. Now, you have to forgive the squigglies over here. Uh, no, this wasn't me doing it by hand. This is just <laughs> the site that I used to illustrate this. This is the yield on the 10-year Treasury note, right? So it's pretty erratic here all over the place. Uh, this is this red line here. I know that might be a little bit tough to see, but that's the 10-year Treasury note. And then the bars here in the red and green, that's the price of gold, okay? So this only goes back to mid-2011, but it illustrates the point that there is an inverse relationship between the price of gold and the yield on the 10-year Treasury note. And that's been very evident here over the course of this year, where we've seen 10-year Treasury note yields come down and gold has been on a nice little rally to the upside. If you flash back to uh, pre-GLD, right before the the gold ETF, um, this was this was still uh, a relationship that you could see. So if you, if you went out, you know, 20, 30 years, you would see this. Now it doesn't happen in step 100% of the time, right? There are periods of time where yields and gold tend to move in the same direction, 
but overall the relationship is inverted okay so why does that mean it's a good time to get gold well this last fed meeting you had one dissenter bullard who came out and said that he wanted to cut rates while the rest of the fed decided that they were going to stay put that essentially signaled to the rest of the world that we are done with our tightening cycle and we're going to keep loosening so as the fed starts to cut rates um, while it won't happen a direct one for one in step uh, overall you're going to see yields drop and even out on the 10 year you're going to see 10 year note yields drop which means gold is going to start its rally continue its rally uh, now we feel like it's it's gone a long way here just over the last few months uh, but my friends you haven't seen anything yet so one great way to play that is through gold miners. So here I have Ashanti Gold, like you said before, ticker AU. This is my favorite chart to show people, the price consensus and EPS surprise chart here on Zax. And again, you don't get the nice smooth move or smooth trend upward like you get on some of the, the other Zax rank number one strong buys that are out there because this is so tied to commodity prices, right? If you're a gold miner, your revenues are going to be basically dictated by the price of gold. Of course, you could mine more or mine less, and that's going to have an effect. But overall, the overwhelming power is going to come from the price of gold. So here you can see these estimates, you know, coming down, chopping around with the price of gold. But now if you take a look at 2019, all of a sudden we're on this upward trajectory and so is the stock price. This is a stock that was trading down under eight bucks in mid to late 2018. And now here we are up over 18. Like I said before, it is a Zach's rank number one strong buy. And here you have uh, A for value, a B for growth, and an A for momentum for an overall VGM composite score of A. So whenever you see Zach's rank number one and you see an A in VGM, things are looking good. Sprinkle in the fact that gold is uh, shining once again, and uh, you got a pretty good one-two punch right there, a stock that could, that could continue to see momentum uh, throughout this year. Okay, do you own either this stock or Dan's stock? No. Okay, thanks for that. Dan, how about you? Do you own either one of these? Uh, I did own Facebook. I sold out at the end of last year. Okay. But, yeah. All right. Well, thank you both. And don't forget, there's always more stock information, and you can find it on our website, zax.com. So all you need to do to access it is get on over to the homepage. In the meantime, with Dan and Dave, I'm Terry Ruffalo.